This is the free motion quilting video for Shell Fan. This design is stitched by first creating this very long teardrop shape. In this video I'm going to take this all the way from one edge almost to the other edge. But really after stitching it out and playing with it a bit I think that it will work better if you only take it this first teardrop just into the center because all the other teardrops you're going to stitch off of it are built up off of it. This is essentially feathers. So the first teardrop and then the rest are kind of this curvy feather shape. And it's a great design to practice feathers if that's something that you're wanting to stitch and you're wanting to make them um, pretty much all the same size and shapes. You're wanting to make a very formal, very symmetrical feather. This is a good way of practicing making that design. So you can see I just stitched that first teardrop and then built up feathers to fill in the rest of that space. And I'm just simply trying to create almost a half circle effect. I did the exact same thing on the opposite side to create a full shell fan. And then now I've travel stitched a broken thread and I'm moved to the other side and I'm building up feathers on the opposite side. Now it's really hard to get a perspective of how this design works because I'm stitching this into a square when really it will work best in a rectangle. So here is the design, how it should look in your actual sashing. You can see how one side of the shell fans, you'll stitch those first, maybe the top side first, and in between them it kind of creates this half circle shape. So then you can go in the opposite side and stitch more shell fans, bringing them in and butting them up against the first set. So it creates a really nice effect and it's the perfect design for your sashing. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish shell fan. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and please share it with your friends. Find it at freemotionproject.com.